Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Broken Ones. So, I don't know, it's free on Amazon Prime. So, well, now we're just going to determine, is the hour and 20 minutes worth it? Because that's all this film is. An hour and 20 minutes, two troubled strangers meet one night and help each other overcome personal fears and tragedies. That's all I know about it. I know Charlie Brewer is in it. Uh, a a Bewley. B-E-W-L-E-Y. He was on Nashville. That's how I know him. And the only other person I recognize is Meg Donnelly from Zombies. And um, that 80s show. Whatever it is. And uh, she's all over now singing on the Disney Channel. And my kids see her all the time. So that's who's in it. I'm going to check it out only an hour and 20 minutes. Like I mentioned, free. I'll let you know if it's worth um, investing your time into it. So stick around. I'll be back. Experience. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Broken Ones. Sorry, no check-in. Only an hour and 20 minute long film. Uh, not a lot interesting happened, so there was no reason to check in. So let me catch you up real quick. Megan Donnelly, who I mentioned in the beginning, who's not in that 80s show. She's in American Housewives and in Zombies, who I thought was the co-star of this, is not. She has a very, not even a part in it. She has a screen... Um, Real quick screenshot of it, but uh, the actual actress in this is C.C. King. So C.C. King and Charlie Drewley, uh, however you say his name, whatever. Um, so C.C.'s character, um, Andy, and uh, she ha is in a um, home for troubled girls, I believe. And then Andy and then Jim is another guy. So she goes out, she is in this... In this um, I don't know, a shelter for women in a sense, or a place for women, um, basically because what we're led to believe, not 100% sure, is that she might have tried to commit suicide. Um, she denies it later in the movie, but she cuts herself. That's We know that for a fact. But anyway, she's in this place. She's allowed to leave to go for work. <clears throat> she goes to work, and during her travels, she finds Jim, the other character in this, who's laying down on the train tracks. We come to find out now Jim has just recently gotten out of prison um, and for you know some business related crime that he spent a year in the prison. So they spend the better part of a day together um, where they start to connect and, and uh, enjoy each other's company and we start to understand a little bit more what's going on. The other, the, some other small pieces of it that uh, Jim, while he was in prison, his mother died of cancer. And CC, we um, learn that her father died during 9/11, and that the next day is the 10-year anniversary, and they're supposed to go to a memorial, memorial of that. Assuming that's the connection on maybe why she cut herself, we don't know that for sure. But they, again, they create this little bit of a bond. They spend time together, and um, one thing about it, like while that's fun to see, you know, love at first sight kind of thing. Um, they start to act as though their relationship is three months to five years long. Getting mad at each other for things that somebody who has just met should not get mad or jealous or asking questions and, and you know, defensive kind of responses in a, in a setting where they've only known each other for less than five hours. So that was odd. <clears throat> um, and that's really the movie. Um, it, then it comes down to whether she wants to go to the memorial or not. Uh, Jim returns home to his father, and he's like, what's going on with you? You've been walking around this house like a zombie. No answer is ever given. We have no idea why. We kind of understand CeCe's struggles and make assumptions on how she ended up where she is. Um, and there's your movie. That's all I got for you. I don't have anything else to share with you about this movie. Um, hour and 20 minutes long. It was 8 on IMDb. And not that many people had reviewed it. I don't know if I told you that in the beginning. 19 people. For me, I don't see it. Um, it was C.C. King's first, or I shouldn't say that, she also produced it. So the main actress is also the producer of this movie, which is great. Um, and it takes place in New York. That's all. That's it. Um, I liked him. I liked her. They didn't do too bad at acting. It was nice to see the scenery of New York City, you know, subway and, and that kind of stuff. One other issue with this movie. I'm not sure what you call it. 
you might want to say score the movie. I don't know. There's music, and it's very intense music throughout, and that's fine. But they, they, the, the volume on the movie elevated. And it's not like action, you know, like when action, a bang happens and it, it's loud. But it's just regular, you know, music that's going along with people talking. And they have it so loud that you can't hear them talk. But as you turn up the volume to hear what they're saying, the music just gets louder. So it's like crazy loud, then the music cuts out, and then it goes back to normal, and you got to turn the volume back down. It's, it's crazy the way that they did this. I had such a hard time with the soundtrack or whatever of this movie. Uh, it bothered me. I'm up and down the volume the whole time on a drama, not an action film. Um, and uh, that's it. I, I don't think there's a lot here more to give you. It's free on Amazon Prime. If you like one of these actors, check it out. Other than that, there's not there's nothing valuable to see in this film, I don't think. But if you've seen it and you check it out, hopefully I might have saved you an hour or 20 minutes. We'll find something else better for you to watch. This isn't worth it, but at least it's free. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry I couldn't give be more help, but this is Kimmel's Irish Pub. Like my channel, all that jazz. All right, see ya.